Hey there again. I'm back with more. This time I'm uh, going to cover something that stumps a lot of people and this is yet another thing that you find on the um, ground portion of your flight test and of course in your pre-flight with your instructor. Um, this is in relation to the commercial pilots and that pesky little thing called approach speed which you will find if you download the uh, flight test guide for the commercial pilot of Canada and uh, Once you get through the first I don't know 10 15 pages of preamble You'll find one of the first questions that's asked is to calculate uh, What do they call it? In the exact words The final approach speed corrected for the predicted landing weight using available charts or tables for weights that are less than maximum takeoff weight Okay so what that means is that they want you to calculate your landing weight um, and then you're going to have a predicted approach speed um, for your predicted landing weight, which of course you get all that from your navigation portion and your flight planning. I, I made this uh, little guide here for my chat. You can see that. And as you can see, approach speed for what? <laughs> approach speed for predicted landing weight, which is often called V ref in other circles. There you see, I call it V ref. All right. So one of the first things you need to do, of course, is do a proper fuel calculation from your nav. Okay. And do an accurate weight and balance. All right, so figuring out how much fuel you're burning um, and of course get your weight and balance as well. Make sure that you're um, legal and uh, not outside of the CFG limits. So you do those things first, which you would, be, would have done in preparation for your flight test. And then um, something that people get a little bit um, caught up on is the fact that they want you to do this calculation using the calibrated airspeed. All right, so that means the calibrated stall speed, which you find at the very beginning of the C-152 pilot operating handbook. In the first page there, in most of them, um, you'll see that it says um, stall speed, power off, maximum flaps. And in this case, it's 43 knots. So, so there you go. All right, need VSO calibrated airspeed, All right? And must convert your speed when you finish the calculation to indicated airspeed because that's the figure that you're gonna quote the examiner or your instructor as your predicted uh, approach speed. And that's not like long final approach. That's like 25 feet off the ground, the approach speed that you should be at with the power off and um, full flaps. All right, just before your specialty landing. In the case of, of the uh, planning, if you look at the performance section of your pilot operating handbook, you'll see that the landings are actually maximum flaps power off. So the same as a specialty landing, like a short field landing or a soft field landing. So if you look in the POH, you'll find that that's 43 knots. All right. So what we need to do is we need to do this calculation, which is a very simple calculation. The most complicated thing in it is a square root. And you can do it with your calculator, of course. Um, and, it, and the calculation is 1.3 VSO, and the VSO is CAS, all right, calibrated airspeed, times the square root of the predicted landing weight versus over divided by the, the max gross weight. So that would be uh, max gross weight for a C-152 would be 1,670 pounds. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I picked a landing weight of 1,570 pounds. So basically a little, oops, is this upside down? No. A little bit lighter, okay? 1,570 pounds, 100 pounds lighter than max gross weight. So there you can see the calculation, 1.3 times VSO, calibrated airspeed, all right? And uh, that number would be at max gross weight in the book, POH, which is what it is at the front of the book. All right, times the square root 
1,570, which is the landing weight predicted, divided by 1,670, which is the max gross weight. All right. And that gives you an answer in this case of 54.2 knots calibrated airspeed. All right, so we take that number, 54.2, we move it over to the conversion now. In the performance section of your POH, you'll see that there's a calibrated versus indicated airspeed conversion chart. And for those of you who need a little refresher, calibrated airspeed is, an, is the airspeed um, uh, calculated based on the position of the pitot tube under the wing and how the camber of the wing and the flaps and the airflow that goes around the pitot tube is affected by different flap settings. All right. So the calibrated airspeed is not what you see on your airspeed indicator. You see indicated airspeed, which is actually in error. So the calibrated airspeed corrects for that error. But of course, when we're flying, we use indicated airspeed, right? So that's what we're used to dealing with. But this calculation is done in calibrated airspeed, and then we convert it to indicated airspeed. All right. So there you go. So 54.2 CAS, KCAS, where are you here? All right. Now, if you look at the chart, you'll see that uh, it's a one knot less difference between the calibrated airspeed and the indicated airspeed for the Cessna 152 with 30 degrees of flaps. Um, I see on the POH that I have on my laptop here that at 30 degrees of flaps, 51 CAS would give you 50. All right. Um, so basically, it's one less. So 54.2 minus 1 is 53.2. All right, so that's your, your indicated airspeed. All right, so that's the airspeed that you quote, and that's the airspeed that you fly on short final, just before the final flare and landing phase of the airplane. All right, so there you go. I'll put this in the comments um, of my post as a GIF, so you can have a look at that. I hope that's helpful. I uh, hope that clears up any confusion. Um, the C-172 drivers, all the same information is available in the C-172 POHs, and of course the numbers will be different. Yeah, so that's it, the approach speed for predicted landing weight. Courtesy of me, and flight tutoring, what's it called? <laughs> mayday flight tutoring, yeah, mayday, mayday. See ya.